Hello YouTube and welcome to this week's video. My Tasmota stuff that I ordered two weeks back has finally arrived, so I think this video is going to be all about that new stuff. So here it is. Let's get it open. That'd be the one for the uh, LED strips. Oh, and there's another one because I ordered two, so that's right. And then this is the little mini relay switch. Again, it's got the Tasmota manual. Be good. Oh, this is much, much smaller than the one that's uh, that I've currently got in my outside light setting. Be a lot easier to fit in the enclosure. So uh, this is actually going to be an upgrade, I think. And then let's just have a look at the menu. So same way of setting up the uh, setting up the um, test motor stuff as with the smart plugs. But here's a wiring diagram, this is what I wanted to see. So it can be configured in a two switch mode. Uh, I guess for like, um, if you're using it for like um, uh, upstairs landing light, you know, where you want to be able to switch it on at the bottom of the stairs or also at the top of the stairs. But that's not what I'm using it for, I'm using it in the garden. So I'll have it in the one switch configuration like this. Um, so I just have to undo the box in the garden uh, as before take out the old unit and wire the existing wires into this new unit in this format and um, and then register it on the network okay so let's do that next
Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, so that's it. So if I switch it on by the switch, then you can see that the lights are now on. And if I switch it off by the switch, they're off. And now, if I do it from my phone, then here's the uh, page. I can do toggle, and they come on, and they go off. Perfect, so now I can integrate it into the rest of my system. Okay, so uh, I've got a rule for garden lights. So we want it to switch on when there's at most zero watts. That means it's night time. Uh, but I don't want it to switch on when there's only 100% battery. So I think as long as there's more than 30% battery, go as low as 25. Uh, then that should be fine. And I want it to be active from, well, in the winter it gets dark from, uh, let's say, about 4 o'clock. Um, and then once it comes on, I want it to stay on for two hours. So I want it to be active for a maximum of 120 minutes. Um, and I want it to be every day of the week. Uh, and that's it. So 120 minutes. When it gets dark, as long as there's enough battery from... Oh no, that's four in the morning, isn't it? Uh, 1600. There we go. Okay, so that should do it. Let's see what happens tonight. Okay, let's have a look at, uh, at this, which should replace that. So I'm hoping that it's just a simple case of plug that power lead into this and uh, there we got our instru instruction manual again usual stuff about how to set it up so I think should be able to just. The only thing is, this one currently controls both lights. I think I did it the right way around, otherwise, it will blow up. Okay, so that's that one. But I think it's not. Oh, it's not powered on. Twit. There we go. Does help if you switch the socket on at all. Okay, so now we should see.
There we go. Currently 4.30 in the evening and uh, the rules obviously working so far because the lights aren't on. Uh, it's still too bright at the moment so I'll keep an eye on it and uh, hopefully as soon as it gets dark then uh, they should switch on. It's at 5 o'clock and you can see it's still too bright. They've not come on which is good. And they're still not on. Because it's still too light. Won't be long there. Okay, that's it. Um, it's just hit zero watts from the solar, so it's dark, and look, the lights have come on. So I guess that's all working. Okay, that's it for this week. Um, what did you think? They're, they're pretty good, these test motor firmware devices. Uh, integrates with my system lovely from uh, for my outside decking lights and uh, for these ones in the shed I need to play around with it a bit more obviously it's working but I need to uh, I need to build a little adapter so that I can put uh, so I can power both of the units because I've got two strings of lights and the old uh, old hardware unit uh, this one uh, you know used to control both strings from the one unit so now I've got two of those I need to split the power supply in two so um, I've got some uh, little plugs to uh, w with wire connectors on them so I'll uh, yeah so I've got some of these and uh, I can just build a a little uh, a split the cable and, and, and uh, run it into two of those and then I can run them both together um, and then I need to play around with the uh, how to set the different colors and stuff using uh, MQTT and then I can uh, set some funky stuff up so that uh, for example if the batteries are uh, fully charged behind me I could have the have the border going green and then uh, maybe when they're half charged it'll be yellow and then maybe when they're uh, sort of getting quite low state of charge it, they could go red or something uh, just to play around with it so uh, yeah that that will be something for a future video um, yeah that's it really um, please like comment share subscribe uh, let me know what you thought of my new intro uh, in the comment section below my brother came around with his uh, his drone and uh, got some footage of me solar panels and stuff so uh, I thought I'd make that into a, a new uh, intro for for my videos so uh, yeah let me know what you think of that and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.